Excellency. And now, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going Pammy, he will let a yale. The wall at a ba. The men a ba bashi. The papa hospital. The Africa fair eco baco down. Waka wala afe. Oh, president, you know, eh? The etankla, that's what you're doing. Now, I'm for shiki. Waka boni, a two new two papa, no two papa new here. One Pajamo, MPP party fair, eh? Ni, I feel no chicken half and couldn't yell yaffe, Nana, I do down quap, no, ever near one year. Four more for Nana, no, my young man. I'm happy to be here in Labadi this afternoon to cut the sword for the commencement of work for the redevelopment of the La General Hospital. Let me at the outset thank the hardworking Minister for Health, the Honorable Kwakua Jima Menu, Member of Parliament for Doma Central, for the diligence and efforts in helping to ensure the takeoff of this project. This redevelopment project has been occasioned by a report from the Ghana Health Service, which indicated that the five-story structure of the hospital had developed gaping cracks, which made the facility unfit for use. Furthermore, the unplanned nature of the entire hospital campus required that it be reorganized so that it can function efficiently as a 21st century hospital, which will serve the needs of residents of La and its adjoining communities. As you may know, government's policy of achieving universal health coverage for all demands that we guarantee access to decent health care for every Ghanaian, no matter where they live. That is why government had to source quickly the requisite funding to embark on the redevelopment of this hospital in view of a strategic location in our nation's healthcare delivery system. This facility in so many ways complements the Great Accra Regional Hospital at Ridge and its upgrading will serve most people from Osu through La and Tessie as well as residents living along the coastal corridor of Accra. Indeed, with admissions to this hospital arising from maternal health and other related complications, increasing from 20.5% in 2008 to 30% in 2017, and with pregnancy and related conditions, for the first time in the history of the life of this hospital, being the number one cause of admission, require that we improve rapidly the facilities of this hospital. This redevelopment project is being financed by a credit facility from the Standard Chartered Bank of the United Kingdom with an export credit guaranteed from Sinoshore of the People's Republic of China to the tune of 68 million euros with an insurance cover of 3,860,000 euros. Upon completion, it will be transformed into a 160 bed facility. It will be fitted with the following an outpatient department, inpatient wards, maternity and neonatal services surgical unit with four theaters, accident and emergency department, public health department, 
pharmacy unit, laboratory, administration, imaging area with CT scan, x-ray room, ultrasound, fluoroscopy, mammography units, physiotherapy unit, and a mortuary. Additionally, the following are incorporated in the project design. A two-year post-defects notification period maintenance program for the medical equipment supplied. Installation of ICT equipment, CCTV, and the relevant software for paperless operation of the hospital. Supply and installation of all medical equipment, consumables, operational vehicles such as utility trucks, and an ambulance. External works to include roads, pavements, covered walkways, canopies, covered drains, parking, and landscaping works, all within the site boundaries. And training in the usage and installation of medical equipment, ICT and software installations, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing installations, maintenance training, and professional development training for medical staff. Whilst the construction of new infrastructure is ongoing, the Ministry is also putting in place measures such as retraining of existing staff and support of the various colleges of health education to guarantee the presence of the necessary human resources to man the facilities that will be constructed. Let me use this opportunity to reiterate the commitment of government towards ensuring that all our healthcare facilities across the country are staffed with well-trained and well-qualified personnel. Our record, that is the record of this government, to this end is unmatched. Upon my assumption of office in 2017, we started recruiting doctors, nurses, pharmacists, allied health professionals, and other support staff who were unemployed after completing their mandatory housemanship rotation or intention. Indeed, government each year has been providing financial clearance for those who are eligible to do their housemanship rotation and intention. As at July this year, government has recruited 90,696 permanent and temporary health care workers. Out of the total employed, 29,518 are temporary staff, whilst the remaining 61,178 are permanent staff. I'm reassured by the declaration of the contractor's representative that this project will be delivered on schedule and it will be beautiful and functional. Nime, I'm delighted and honored by your presence here, and I assure all of you that this project is a sign of greater things to come for love, and indeed for the whole nation. Government's commitment to the total development of Ghana is absolute. I'm very hopeful that by the grace of God, we are on the threshold of something remarkable in Ghana, and I expect that all of us gathered here will be present again, God willing, for the commissioning of this project once it is completed. May God bless us all and our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.